I think also at the same time, it, it gives a chance to do things that you never thought you'd do before. Like, I'm, I can't wait to get back into the park <laughs> because, inshallah, in this, in this, uh, I'm going to use this time to really sharpen up our um, arguments because you've got the time to do it now. So, so you're going to be even more deadly. Inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, we got, well, basically, I've, mashallah, I've still been on the, um, the Facebooks and such, and mashallah, I give a shahada to a girl uh, on Thursday. Um, mm. She'd been introduced to Islam, spoke to her. She's an EF Dawa fan, watching the videos. Alhamdulillah. I know you're watching, and I know you're not ready to come on yet. But um, mashallah, she took a shahada on Thursday. Alhamdulillah. Because we're all, we've all got time to sit and reflect and contemplate and do these things. And um, there's another girl, inshallah, I believe she's waiting in the wings, yeah? She is in the back chat at the moment. Alhamdulillah. Now, she, again, another one, got con a brother, mash mashallah, messaged me on Facebook <laughs> saying he's got this sister who um, who's really interested in becoming a Muslim. So, alhamdulillah, I, um, I spoke to her briefly by chat yesterday on the messenger. And um, she, she ready to take a shahada, alhamdulillah. Now, she's actually, I think she's going to do it here, isn't she? She is. Or if, if you brothers want to do it now, we can, I mean, she's waiting in the back. We can bring yeah, her Yeah, let's up. do it. Let's do it. Was, uh, yeah, mashallah. So, um, welcome to Adele. The, uh... Hello. 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 How are you? Assalamualaikum. I'm fine. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You're all right. Um, yeah. So basically, yeah. I, was just, I, I was just saying how um, because we've been at home and I've been going through my Facebook messages, mashallah, and um, a brother said that you were interested in becoming a Muslim, and um, then I messaged you. I got you to friend request me and message you. And, um, so what would be nice if you could is because we find it fascinating, mashallah, how. how just ready to be a Muslim, and you were so hungry for it, alhamdulillah. It's like you really, really wanted to do it. And uh, it's so sad yeah. that it's come in the lockdown, so you can't go to uh, you go go out or see anybody, or you, you know what I mean? No. But, but yeah. EF Tower here. is here, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in, I'm in Argentina. <laughs> There's no chance. And I've never been to a mosque here, because if there is a Muslim community here, it's very small. I personally haven't met anybody here in 12 years that's Muslim, so I don't know how I'm going to manage. You're, you're in Argentina, isn't it? Yeah, in Argentina, in Buenos Aires. Buenos and it's Aires. more of a, a Catholic country, so there's, you know, saints and all that all around, and there's no escape. But then when you start uh, reading or listening, you feel like you're connected to him, and that's that's the escape. Oh, so, I'm ready to. I'm ready to do it. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. But do you want to give us a, a um, just a, a kind of back background and then how you've come to this decision? Well, after um, well, I grew up in the states, and there's so much diversity there. You know, there's all the religions, so you learn. Um, and I was never, I never had a religion imposed on me. So. You know, if you grow up with a certain religion and you think there's no other options, but luckily I, in my home, I was free. You know, I had friends of all different religions and you go learning, but it's a quest that you do on your own. And I, I got a copy of the Quran in Spanish here at a flea market um, for 40 pesos. So I don't know how much pesos is um, in pounds, but less than a dollar. That was about two years ago and I started reading it and everything you read you just say yeah that's right that's right because it just touches you in a way that it feels like he's speaking straight to you Alhamdulillah. you know no matter where you're from or who you are it's just so much truth then i started to listen to i looked on youtube uh recitation of quran and it just i never heard prayer like that before i said if if, if you're not praying like that what are you doing it's just so pure and I said, I have to learn this. I have to, I have to be a part of it. Ah, so I, I, I want um, that statement to say that I recognize that it's true and learn how to how to serve him. Oh, you know, not be distracted. Like you guys were talking about how this virus is taking away all the distractions and you have to focus on 
with our lives. Uh-huh. It's just, it can end at any moment. So you can't waste time. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I remember the Sheikh Hamza. Do you remember the Sheikh in Saudi saying that the, the Quran speaks to the soul? Yes. If that resonates. It, it, yes. They're always saying that regardless of the language or, or things like that, when you're, you know, when you're hearing it, particularly in Arabic, when you're hearing it, it speaks to the soul. Yes. Even it if you does, don't understand the words. Not, yeah. yeah. It's it's not something that there is logic behind. I was watching the videos how you say there's no, the video where you're arguing with this woman about she wanted to say that um, the Quran was changed and she didn't have a way to prove it. There is logic behind it, but there's also just a feeling that you don't need to explain. Anybody can hear it and if you're open to but as it said, he gives this wisdom to who he chooses, right? So sadly, there are people that maybe can't open their heart to it. But if you can, you will feel that. There's no way to not feel it. Alhamdulillah. It speaks to you, yeah. Okay, because you said to me you was um, yesterday you said you wanted to do it with witnesses because you know you felt that you had to do it with witnesses and uh, obviously in lockdown yeah. there's not really many witnesses so no, no. Yeah. we have witnesses for you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, okay. many witnesses do we, how many witnesses do we have let me just see so oh, no, have, I don't know. yeah I don't, I don't know if she wants to know <laughs> how many how many is watching <laughs> Uh, we got 458 at the moment. Allahu Akbar. So you're going to get your witnesses. Okay, hello, everybody. Say Allahu Akbar. <laughs> oh, okay, so um, I'll say it really slowly in Arabic first. Okay. And and then um, we'll say it in the English, yeah? Okay. Okay, so, re- so repeat after me. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. Allah. Allah. Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha illallah illallah wa wa ashadu ashadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan rasulullah oh I repeat that last one i'm so sorry rasulullah this birds here i can't hear <laughs> No problem. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Okay, so I bear witness. I bear witness. That none has the right to be worshipped. That none is to be worshipped. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar, my sister. Allahu Akbar. Congratulations. Welcome to the Dean. Welcome Thank to the brother you. and sister. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. I feel I've spoken to people in these days and I was very afraid because you know I'm not a um, white American girl and I say you know you almost maybe feel like you're trying to be something that you're not. That that's my biggest fear, but if it speaks to you, you can't deny it once once you feel it. Yeah. So, so like, the, the beautiful thing is about Islam. It, it, you don't have to transform your culture. Yeah. You just have to do... No. The th- you just learn to do the things that are prohibited by Allah and do the things that are encouraged by Allah. And if you look at the things yeah. that are prohibited, drugs, gambling, alcohol, all of these kind of things, you can see the detrimental effect yeah. of them. And then if you go towards the... Of course. Thing, th- then you, you'll see the benefit. Because once you start praying then you'll connect your soul to its creator. And that's all your soul wants. SubhanAllah. Yes. And, 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 and at we the should same time, also it. And it's like I said to you uh, earlier, this world is like a jungle. And we all have yeah. to pass through it. And there's dangers all throughout it. Whoop, we lost you. Dangers all throughout it. And um, Islam is the, um, is the map. It's the map and the guide to come through the jungle. It's to know what you can eat, what berries are poisonous, what berries will kill you, where, where the swamps are, where the dangerous animals are. Alhamdulillah. Because yeah. we all have to pass through the jungle. Now, some people, say to, some people say to me, oh, I believe in myself. I don't believe in, in anything else. I just believe in myself. But then, Yeah, that's what everybody but, says. But who yeah, gave you this breath? No, but even if they who believe gave in you the- 
Alhamdulillah. But even if they believe in themselves, then they should want the best for themselves. And of if you course. want the best, so if you want the best for yourself, you want the best guidance from yourself. And the best guidance can only come from the one who created you, who knows you. So exactly. the amazing thing is, if you want the best for yourself, become Muslim. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, but so many people have so many misconceptions and they're not willing to even to learn, but it's the best for them. You know, it's because all it is is submission to him. Where, how can, how can you be unprotected if you're in his hand? That's it. You don't really have anything to worry about. Who can harm you if, if he's protecting you? Alhamdulillah, beautiful stuff, man. Alhamdulillah. Mm. That's it. It gives you a lot of peace. So we're going to stay connected, inshallah. Uh, we're going to be here to guide you every step of the way. Inshallah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Thank you. Inshallah. We're here for you. Bye. Does anyone else want to say anything to the sister? I think it was amazing there how, how even the birds were celebrating. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> the birds were taking shahada as well. Yeah, eh? mashallah. But, um... Tropical birds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome, my sister. You take care. Okay, I'll be listening. Bye. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Congratulations. Welcome to Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, yeah, so in, in my isolation, that's what I've been up to. As well as the <laughs> Total War Warhammer. But... Yeah. It kind of beats what I've been doing, actually. It kind of beats what I've been doing. <laughs> no, it's just, ama it's just amazing how people are hungry, hungry for Islam. Because we go to the park and there's so much animosity we do find there. We do find the odd person here. But there are people who are hungry for this, um, hungry for this religion. And um, mashallah, we, we, we need to appreciate what our videos do do. There, there, there are people watching worldwide and there are people gaining benefits. Because sometimes we can get demoralized in the park. Well, I don't really, but people do get demoralized in the park that, oh, this person's not listening to me. Oh, they're not, you know, they're still ranting in their stupidity. But maybe the message isn't for them. And you never know yeah. who's going to take that message and run with it. Like I said, we've got um, another sister who took a shahad on Thursday and she's she was repeating me all the things I said in each video. So the people are paying attention. So uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah. And, 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 uh, 